Now let us try to develop a stacked area chart using d3.js. So we have already seen how to create an area chart using the area method and also seen how to display stacked information using stack method. So we are combining both these methods that is the stack method and area method to create a stacked area chart like this. So to display the stacked area chart I am using the same data which we have used in the stack example that is for displaying the number of desktops, laptops, monitors and printers sale value. So we are going to use the same data and let's see how to develop a stacked area chart like this using d3.js. So to illustrate this I have already saved a web page with title stacked area chart and also added reference to the latest d3.js file online. Now let me add the script section and within this first we need to have the data right. So let me copy the data which we have used in the stack method example. So I have copied it and let me paste it. So this is the information which we have used while explaining the stack method. So we here we have desktops, laptops, printers and monitors but I want to display this with respect to year that is I want to add the year information along with this. So let me add year 2000 okay let me move it towards this side then let me copy this and just change the value right. So let me make this as 2001 then this as 2002 then 2003 then 2004 and 2005 okay. So here we have added the years along with the details that is in year 2000 these were the sales in year 2001 these were the sales it goes like that. Next let us try to define the width and height so where width equals 600 then height equals 500 and spacing as 60 because we want to display x and y axis so I am adding spacing which will be used to overcome the issue of not getting the axis completely. Next let me define the x scale and y scale so let the x scale be I am going to use linear scale for both x and y scale so d3 dot scale linear then we need to define the domain and range so as in the area chart I want to have it from 2000 I don't want to start it from 0 so how I can specify I need to specify the min and max from this list so I can specify the values within square brackets right so d3 dot min we need to pass the data then function d return d dot year so this will return the minimum value then we need to have the maximum as well right so here let me put again comma d3 dot max then again we need to pass data function d return d dot year so we have defined the domain for the x scale then we need to specify the range so here dot range again it should be within square brackets I need to specify 0 comma width minus spacing okay so x scale is defined then we have to have the y scale so where y scale equals d3 dot scale linear then here we cannot specify or define the domain now why because initially for desktop suppose we want to display desktop at the bottom it will be 080 for year 2000 then 130 for year 2001 like that but for laptops it will be 80 plus 210 right then 130 plus 150 40 plus 200 so it will be actually the sum of all these values. So as of now I am not going to define the value for domain for y scale. We will do it after using the stack method. Okay. 
so as of now i am just defining the range so dot range and within square brackets it should be height minus spacing and then zero i am not explaining these things in detail because we have already explained why we are specifying height and then zero and why we are subtracting spacing from height and all those in previous lectures okay now we have defined the x scale and y scale we haven't specified the domain for this y scale we will do it later next what we need to do let me define the svg so where svg equals d3 dot select body dot append what should be appended we need to append svg then we need to specify the width and height so dot attr of width it is already there in the width variable as 600 right then we have to set the height so dot attr of height and the value is in the height variable then what we need to do we need to append a g element so dot append g then we need to transform and translate it so dot attr transform and translate how we should translate it it should be like put a plus spacing by 2 again put a plus put the comma again put a plus space why it is displayed like this here there should be a double quotes then spacing by 2 plus comma then again a plus again spacing by 2 so we are specifying the x and y values that is by how much it should be transformed or translated it towards the x and y axis right so we have done up to this then what we can do we can actually call the x scale because we have defined the domain and range for x scale but for y scale we need to use the stack method and then decide the domain so here let me call the x axis so for calling x axis using x scale let me specify svg dot append g this is for the tick sand path for displaying the x axis then let me transform and translate it so dot attr transform comma translate how much it should be transformed and translated it should be zero comma height minus spacing right because as of now it will be at the top of the svg it should be moved to the bottom so we have to specify zero comma then i need to put a plus sorry double quotes here and end this and then put a plus and then specify height minus spacing right let me put this within brackets okay then put the plus to concatenate this then let me call the axis so dot call how we should access it we can specify d3 dot axis bottom bottom is just about the ticks with respect to the line right axis bottom of x scale okay now we have called the x axis let us check whether the x axis is getting displayed correctly let me save this and check the output okay see this is how it is being displayed one is that it is displaying the years like 2000, 2000 2000, 2001.5, 2001.0, 2001.5 like that. So, I just want to have six ticks, right? Only 2000 up to 2005 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ticks. So, here I can specify the number of ticks by dot ticks of 6. Let me check it. Let me save see now we are seeing 2000 2001 up to 2005 only but usually we do not separate the space by comma that is after 1th 10th and 100th place we will not have a comma when we display years right so we can remove this comma by using tick format so i just have to specify tick format and within brackets i can specify d3 dot format 
and within brackets I need to specify D. So when we specify tick format as D3 dot format of D, then that comma which is separating the digits will be removed. Let me save this and show you. See, now it is displayed like this. So we just have the x axis now with the correct number of ticks and in the specified format. But we don't have the y axis or the stack area chart now. So next, let us use the stack method to define the stack. Okay. So let's do that part now. 